Yes, guys, so we are finally back. We have finally made it to another reaction today, guys. The second one on this year, BR BP TV YouTube platform. Welcome to each and every one of you guys who tuned into another vibrations. And of course, guys, you can check out the previous one I did on the Mr. Leaks reaction, guys. I'll link you in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, without further ado, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. I would appreciate that. Click the thumbs up button right there and then. And of course, guys, with that said, let us get into the vibrations for this year. BR BP TV vibrations, brothers and sisters. This is not other than mass in the cemetery. And of course, there's some rather interesting stuff that they're stating right there. Of course, based on this article, we're going off. Uh, based on this alleged situation, apparently, there's a number of things that are going on. And of course, Dominicans don't seem to know what on earth is going on right there. These are the individuals who got their life taken. And as a result of its interesting turn of events, apparently, Canadians are vexed with Dominica, apparently. Because Dominica is demanding that Canada is somehow having to pay or need to pay 1.8 million 1.8 million canadian dollars i'm guessing else no justice for canadian individuals who passed away as a result of uh some other wicked person within that vicinity who apparently the people don't seem to like there at all alas how they will pay choksi that's another interesting story right there these are the individuals like i said before who passed away and of course this is none other than choksi choksi definitely is coming into the midst of a number of interesting stuff and of course i think choksi is going after dominica all right we will talk about that in another situation right there of course this is also the concern with the medical fraternity in dominica and we have the minister coming out to say hey guys oh my goodness we needed to know <laughs> we need to know what several things have been missing in the hospital this is just the latest one and you're coming out and pretend as if oh my goodness this is first this is new to us this is nuance brothers and sisters anyways according to the article right there going around on social media is linked the very document that i was talking about just a while ago the medical uh, uh thing memorandum from the office of the hospital medical director to the hospital medical board of directors the memorandum, memorandum state i get to inform i actually read that yesterday you guys can also see it as well the mem memorandum continued with clear indication that health care ration well health there's some sort of healthcare rationing taking place but of course as indicated that there that healthcare rationing is imminent but for those well i don't think it's imminent i think it's very much present right now imminent means it's coming it's very close we are, we are in it right now brothers and sisters and of course i'm guessing the individuals who are responsible for writing the letters are fed up of the present system and had to put this out there and of course the letter ended up going all over social media and of course you know the internal affairs when public and therefore you know people need to know and i agree that in whoever leaked the letter, letter or whatever I, I agree with that person because on the basis of what is taking place when people go in to get operations and they don't people hardly hearing any information they don't give you much information you just have to say oh come back next time we'll hopefully be prepared next time you come back next time nothing's going on and it's just a constant hoopla this is another culture that is in dominica very unfortunate right anyways um where was i but for those of us who are not pretending to be asleep, okay, let me just read the thing. The memorandum continued with clear indications that healthcare rationing is imminent. But for those who are, uh, those of us who are not pretending to be asleep, we are not slumbering, brothers and sisters. We are heavily awake. Or wide awake, not heavily awake. But anyways, those who are not pretending to be asleep, the failing healthcare system like the deteriorating economy or deteriorated economy, devastating levels of unemployment, which of course is going up. <laughs> NEP, watch all yourself next month, eh? Oh, all right. Widespread poverty, rampant corruption. Rampant corruption is indeed very interesting right there. Dysfunction, there's serious dysfunction when it comes down to public services and institutions and the human rights violations are all indicated in, de in decadent uh, of a failing state right there, or failed state. A top health rationing system, we are also aware of the fact that the justice system can't even afford to pay attention let alone a post office stamp mes amis in spite of spending more than 10 million dollars on senior councils for trinidad just to prosecute opposition politi politicians from the united workers party that's what they're spending the money on they're just killing time and just wasting money and then they're wondering why money not flowing in <laughs> because maybe you're not doing your job you know maybe that could be that could be the very thing right there Anyways, mass in the cemetery have been in contact with sources 
close to the Canadian Embassy and we, they pretty much can confirm that the cash trap government of Dominica has asked the Canadian authorities to provide them with about 1.8 million Canadian dollars to move forward with the passing of, of the individuals who got their lives taken. American Jonathan Scott and Robert Sin, 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 Snyder. That sounds like um, X-Men, the guy from x -Men. Anyways, Robert Snyder Jr., both men are accused of taking the lives of Canadian citizen Daniel Langua and his partner Dominique Machad. That sounds like some French names right there. Anyways, Daniel and Dominique right there. Of course, the people of Sufri are, 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 are very saddened by that. And, you know, hopefully there's justice. But when you're telling the people, it's very interesting. When you're telling people who the crime never happened in their country, it happened in your country, you're then telling the people that they need to pay you guys or they need to pay $1.8 million to have the case going on. What? That cannot... That, are we, are, we, are we in comedy? Huh? Is this Comedy Central? You know, sometimes on Comedy Central, they just take real things and they're making they, they kicks on it. They're making jokes on it. Are we living in the Comedy Central? How on earth are you telling another country to pay 1.8 when you're asking to solicit it? Their, 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 um, their, um, their expertise. You're not asking them to come and... Brothers and sisters, I don't know, eh? something, something wrong somewhere, boy. Something really, really wrong somewhere. Anyways, 1.8 to move forward with the passing of the individuals that Jonathan and Robert apparently are alleged to have done to none other than Canadian citizen Daniel and Dominique. Ready? According to our sources, the Dominican Authority on Legal Affairs told the Canadians that the 1.8 million is needed to hire senior counsel from Trinidad to prosecute the case. We also understand that the Canadian authorities were very much disturbed by the request coming from the Dominican government. According to one source, to the Canadians, it came across as extortion. Now, when it comes down to this kind of statements right there, brothers and sisters, is it too far? Is it too far off? When we are, we have, we have heard that, when it comes down to doing businesses in Dominica, we heard that governments need to get the cut. If government's not getting the cut, they're not pushing the business. Take for example, why is the government buying generator to run Dom Lake? You never ask yourself that question. Why is the government, and a company that makes millions of dollars every year, why is the government buying renting generator to Dom Lake? I don't know, brothers and sisters. I don't know. Eh? You guys have to help me out in that regard. Anyways. The Canadians have been distraught and disturbed by the request coming from the government of Dominica. According to one source, to the Canadian, it came from it came forth as some sort of extortion. But it was even more disturbing to the Canadians when it was clear to them that the American Jonathan and Robert are receiving preferential treatment at the Dominica State Prison. Because apparently we're hearing that um, well, individuals stated that they cited them outside of the prison. Now, I don't know if they were doing investigations and going there to see what was going on, what not, police, what not, but people were saying they were seeing them there at their house. And if you're going to do some sort of research, brothers and sisters, to find out what exactly was at the house, why were people reporting that they saw the man sit down on his chair chilling? He was on his porch chilling, brothers and sisters. I think, if I remember correctly, they stated that his foot was up like he was relaxing, his foot was up and chilling. Uh, when the, 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 the lady went to the prison, a number of persons were telling me that, Where, where's Jonathan? <laughs> where's Jonathan, brothers and sisters? Is he not on, in, on remand? Maybe you would have seen him in the area. Is he, is he, does he even stay there? I think they should have asked. I think that's one of the questions that they should have asked the prisoners. Where's Jonathan? And where's Robert? Right there. Anyways, guys. Where was I? Receiving preferential treatment at the, state, at the state, Dominica State Prison. Mass Energy Cemetery was informed that Miss Henderson allegedly ordered the state prison officials to allow unsupervised visits to the prison inmate Jonathan. Hmm. Interesting. According to a source close to the state prison, friends, associates, and family members of the inmate are just allowed to come up to the state prison, walk in, and meet with the inmates. Hmm. Very interesting stuff right there. 
even prisoners who do crime in Dominica are getting better preferential share, um, pref better preferential treatment than the very Dominicans themselves. It's interesting stuff right there. All on the other of Miss Missy Henderson. I don't know who is that. Alleged to be this person. We are smart enough to know on whose behalf Missy Henderson is working. If that is the case. If that is actually the case right there, brothers and sisters, we all know who that is. We all know, you know. Anyways, uh, this is another part of it, this thing. Now, this is an interesting one. I want to see what they're saying right there when it comes down to the Choksi situation. No money for legal representation in the Choksi lawsuit. <laughs> it is public knowledge, brothers and sisters, that kidnapping victims, Mel Choksi, has filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the government of Dominica. <laughs> all right, then. Multi-million dollars. Of course, he will definitely win that case. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. The man said he was kidnapped. You put him in jail. And then a plane somehow does come from nowhere. Oh, wow. Magic plane does come from nowhere. Landing men in, in, in Melville Airport. Really? To take the very man that said he was kidnapped. Really? Big case happening back and forth. Oh, you mad. Okay. He must win the money. Though. He must. Hopefully the person that have the money on their shackles overseas will release some. I myself, I know you're getting in that one right there. Let, let's continue, please. So anyways, the public knowledge that the kidnap mail, blah, 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 was filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the Commonwealth of Dominica. Government of Dominica, not Commonwealth of Dominica, but the government of Dominica. It's very sad that when it comes down to the situations on which the decisions of the government has been made, it is then the people who are responsible for doing that. Not the government salary, you know, brothers and sisters. Even though they increase their salaries, it is the people the burden falling on for the foolish decisions that has been made by the leaders of society. You realize that, right, brothers and sisters? So less money is coming to the people, more money is going back overseas. Can of reminds me of the whole Keping C situation where $80 million left Dominica to two people. 80, 30, 30, about 80 million dollars, brothers and sisters, left Dominica. Monies that could be used to help develop the educational sector, agricultural sector, number of things it left. Because they want to say they're building nice things in Dominica, that of which we have yet to see the benefit. We have yet to see the benefit. Keeping ski left Dominica, you know. They left Dominica. I would say why, but let me leave that alone. They left Dominica, brothers and sisters, continental, pick it up. Hopefully, continental can, can bring a little something, something in Dominica. But when it comes down to the activities, of, and, and they're building a set of hotels as if we have a set of people coming in. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something that doesn't make any sense. You know why? Because American Airlines was giving daily flights to Dominica. They pull out from daily flights. I think it's probably two or three times a week they come in straight to Dominica. They were supposed to increase the daily flights to two daily flights a day, brothers and sisters. You know what happened? They never, that never happened. In fact, they send the plane somewhere else. I think it's to St. Martin or Anguilla or one of these places. So we're building a set of hotels in the place. Not much people want to come. Even though the opportunity to come to Dominica, straight flight from Miami, straight flight from Miami to Dominica was there. People were not coming. Yet still, we are still building hotels. Brothers and sisters, I understand business for demand and supply. But if you have a supply and the supply is there, the demand is not there, the supply drops off. That is the plane, daily flights. Supply is dropping off. Yet still, you still stay you want to build how much hotels in Dominica? How much resorts and things in Dominica? For what reason? If the supply was high and people trying to get to Dominica, I would understand that. American Airlines decide, hey, we have extra fleets out there. We buy our planes or whatever they have. Decide, hey, let's see if we can make daily flights straight from Miami to Dominica and a number of other Caribbean islands. Dominica loses daily flights and we're still trying to build hotels. Say we build in hotels. Is it really build we build in hotels or washing money, brothers and sisters? Hmm? You might say a hotel might cost, let's say a hotel might cost $20 million to actually build. Instead, what we doing? We 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 extend any money. The hotel not cost fifty million dollars to build. So we have monies outside there. That monies we can put. Oh, we say fifty million dollars to build the hotel. We bring the fifty million dollars to come in to build the hotel. We build the hotel, and then we pocket the thirty million dollars. 
That's what mush, washing money looks like. You know, you know that, guys. When they talk about the airport, brothers and sisters, and building $1.3 billion airport, saying we're going to host a million people in the airport, when the population is about fifty to 70,000 people. <laughs> boy. Boy. <coughs> oh, yeah, mad more jokes than, than, than comedians. Anyways, kidnapping mail to a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the Dominica, government of Dominica. But in the cemetery can also report that some of the people named in this male Trotsky lawsuit are very much concerned that the government of Dominica is unable to provide them with quality legal representation. Why? Because they apparently don't have the level of money that they would need to get a, a good lawyer to at least alleviate the issue. Mehul Trotsky must win that from the moment I was the correspondent for the Indian Times. And I was looking at the situation, checking all the information of brothers and sisters. And that's one of the reasons why them people kept me going because I was providing all the information needed for them. Every single bit and thing. And I understand. And making it make sense doesn't make any sense of what that, that, that of why they kept him inside, why they kept him inside there. No sense at all. But anyways, this is why I know that Mehul Chosky must win the money. It bound to. Anyways, lawsuit file. Concerned the government guy would not be able to provide adequate uh, quality legal representation. The lawsuit named the following um, DPP's Shema Diample. Uh, that's another one. Alleged, I'm just saying, alleged brothers and sisters. DPP Shema, Shema um, Diample, the Attorney General Office, Police Officer Maximia, and Lincoln Cobbett. There was also another person that is not there. He needs to be there. He needs to be there. Oh, he will definitely be there because he was there when the whole situation happened. We are not allowed to reveal much information regarding the pending lawsuit. However, we want to put this question out in the public. Why was subsection Lennox Lawrence not presented as the interesting? Why was subsection Lennox Lawrence not presented as the attorney general in the lawsuit? Why? Interesting question right there. We believe... He was the acting attorney general during the Choksi kidnapping operation. Uh, of course, this is very interesting right there. There's another individual that I'm thinking of. But time, time, brothers and sisters. Time is a heck of a thing, eh? Time is a heck of a thing. The subsec the subsection Lennox, um, subsection Lennox Lawrence and the crooked government of Dominica, MIT, MITC know, know exactly why that is so, and we will. Let me read that thing in. To subsection Lennox Lawrence and to the crooked government of Dominica, MIT know exactly or knows exactly why that is so. And we will uh, at some point, it's the time, at some point reveal all of the shenanigans, the corrupted, the corruption and the usual pay for play, play. Brothers, hey. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, when you put in out all this information out there, I wonder if Dominicans really understand what's going on. And I made that statement earlier on, brothers and sisters. When things are happening to Dominicans as a result of the bad decisions that the leaders that they elect have done, who do you think is going to pay the price? The people. Therefore, the people are getting less money to do things for them, and the government has to end up paying all sorts of monies, not from his salary, but from the people on the bad decisions that they have made. You think the man worry and say, oh, are they taking us to court and whatnot? If we lose, we lose. Not my money touching now. It's the people's money that is meant to help them in an economy that is not doing well, caused by the very government themselves. That is a very interesting thought process, right, dear brothers and sisters. It's a very interesting thing. And I don't think people realize that yet. I don't think people realize that yet at all. But hey, you know, sometimes when you talk to the people, the people don't want to listen. So No money, apparently. No money. And probably that's why they want to get the $1.8 from Canada to do this. Maybe they're going to take some. Probably say, okay, we'll take half of it and put it in that case and take the half to put it in the Mel Chosky case. Maybe. Because on time and time over time here, we are hearing that Dominica owes a lot of, Dominica owes a lot of places, schools, just name it. 
And when you're telling people these kind of things, people wondering, Mr. Lix, well, what you saying, Nina? What, what, where, where all that coming up? Why you, they'll say, why you hate Dominica? <laughs> you're trying to tell people that people are quiver in Dominica and they are the ones going to pay the price for it. They telling you, you hate Dominica? According to the song of um, um, King Dice, the wanted, you tell people the truth and it's like the people don't like to hear the truth and that makes you a wanted man, we? You telling people what's going on, guys. If we do not take stock of these things, we are going to constantly be abused by the very people who are supposed to be doing things for us. We constantly over 20 years that has happened to Dominic. 20 years. How long, brothers and sisters? The speech of Martin Luther King, man. How long? Not long. But 20 years long, we boy. 20 years, yo, long way. Oh my goodness gracious. And the people doesn't see is damn it affecting me. The bad decisions of the government, brothers and sisters, is the responsibility of the people to pay. This is why the people must hold the government accountable. When the government come to tell you what your mother and your father couldn't do for you, I will do for you. Yes, your mother and father never make you pay for their decisions. But the government will do it to you, though. Doing all sorts of craziness, just wasting money. Black is white. And that is a culture in Dominica, too. It's very unfortunate. Why I say it's a culture? Because I remember when they fixed the West Coast Road, brothers and sisters. They fixed the road. Nice, wonderful, nice roads, you know. Then the Wasco coming to break up the road for them to put pipe. <laughs> You see the kind of culture? It's like it's back to front. And it's not like I want to see these things. This is an objective reality that we're seeing. Objective reality that we're seeing, brothers and sisters. And you're saying, hey guys, take stock, please. Or come together. We can't have this government doing all these kind of things. We cannot. Doesn't matter who they are. If they're doing that, they should not be doing that to the people. But the people quiet. They're waiting for somebody else to come and do it. And when somebody else come and do it now, the same people who are seeking that very same help of the very people who are going to show their face and say, hey, I will be a scapegoat. I will be a scapegoat. The same people come in and fight the very people. <laughs> oh boy, humans definitely have a... Humans have an issue, brothers and sisters. But just keep in mind that all the money is that they have to pay these people for their deal. Imagine Dominicans have no dealings with that choksy situation. No? no dealings at all. We just hear a man up here. They say he kidnap or they say he come and visit girl at common beach and stuff. Lie they lying to people. Just like they lied to us the first time when it comes down to the situation that involved the partner. Um, 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 the bad man and the missing girl. They come and lie to us. Making up Nancy stories. But and sisters, if they could do that, thank God there was good people who recorded the time frame and different and say that doesn't make any sense. Then they come back with another story. They didn't come and say, sorry guys, we, we probably got the information. They, they didn't say, they didn't even apologize. You know, the police are talking about, you know. They didn't apologize for the lies that they told the people before on the old situation involving the madman. They come and put nice, they come and pretend as if, hey, it never happened, and come and tell the people what exactly happened. Still today, brothers and sisters, you know where Kian is? You know where the madman is, brothers and sisters? You know where he is? Still to today? There are information that I know I would not see. But, let me leave that alone. Brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts on this whole situation right there? What are your thoughts on the situation involving the Mel Choksi situation? And of course, Dominica alleged to be asking Canada that they need to pay $1.8 million for them to try the case of a crime that happened not in the country, you know. In your country, they have to pay. Maybe they can't pay, so they say, hey, at least ask for a loan or something. But apparently, they seem like Canada take that like some sort of extortion. 
So at least Canada has seen what happened in, in Dominica. It's not people making up story. And look, we hear in that even the same Canada now. What happened, brothers and sisters? Canada say, well, you guys have four million dollars for us. Canadian dollars, from my understanding. Four million dollars for us for printing passports that has not been paid. Four million? You know what? Four million? Next thing we in our passport stop work. <laughs> <laughs> because money don't get paid. <laughs> because if you're printing passport and using eBird and sisters, you must use it for the you must pass it through the system. So if they have the control to make the passport work and not work, then you can use your passport. <laughs> I told you already. Eh? Change all you all you uh, get a different. All you think is joke I make it. Oh. Anyway, brothers and sisters, let me know your thoughts right there in that regard. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. I want to hear what you guys have to say as well. And of course, there was some other stuff I was going to do. I've been, I've been trying my best to do a video. Hopefully, I get to do it tomorrow right there. But guys, let me know your thoughts in that regard right there, man. Give this video a thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash that like button. I would appreciate that right there and then. And of course, with all that said right there, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification. And check out the next reaction or the previous reaction I did on this year YouTube platform on the Mr. Lix React channel. Um, Mr. Lix React channel, guys. A bit earlier on today. Anyways, guys, your boy Mr. Lix on this year. Be RBBTV. Remember, guys. Remember, guys. Be real. Be positive. <laughs>